Now we're following a developing story for you at six. We're learning more details about the deaths of a mother and three children in Danbury. And the details in this case just really horrific. Police say their investigation now points to a murder suicide. Pinpoint News Tracker shows us exactly where this happened. The bodies were found at a house on Wally Street. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera spoke with the neighbors and investigators. He joins us now live with what he's learning. Dennis. Mark and Aaron, police were out here with us for most of the day, not taking down the police tape until close to the four o'clock hour. Now, instead of police tape, we see gifts and flowers left for the victim family on their doorstep. Now, it may be a while before we learn about the exact motive in this case. However, we did talk to an expert who analyzes and studies these kind of horrific crimes. He has a theory. Flowers now sit at the steps at this Wally Street home where police continue to put together the pieces, saying a mother, Sonia Loja, killed her three children before hanging herself. I was watering my flowers at 5 o'clock and didn't see anything, didn't hear anything. Tom Neville is trying to figure out the same thing. He had nothing but nice things to say about his neighbors. He's been devastated by the news. Just terrible in your own neighborhood. You see it on TV, like I said, all the time, but yeah. when it hits this close to home, it just, it can happen anywhere. Dr. Kevin Barnsini is an associate criminal justice professor at the University of New Haven. He says the trigger in these incidents usually are life-changing events, like the end of a long-time relationship or losing a job. It could be that they themselves feel that they're letting their children or their family down or letting their loved ones down. And so they feel that, you know, everything's a failure and life has no point. That can be a, a big one. Dr. Barnsini says the challenge with trying to prevent these crimes is a lack of red flags. He says the best thing we can do is check in with each other, often. If we could just spend a little bit more time listening to each other, um, learning from each other and learning about each other, then maybe we'll be able to see uh, warning signs. Danbury Public School Superintendent Kevin Walson also issued a statement about this. He said this tragic event has hit all of us hard, and I want to ensure that everyone, including students, staff, and families, feel supported during this time. Starting Monday, the school district pupil services support team will be offering mental health and counseling services for anyone who needs it. We're live in Danbury. Dennis Valera, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Just so